people it's vitas tech and today we are checking out the inca fire e90s now when they offered to send these out i was kind of hesitant from reading some reviews but i decided to check them out for myself and i've spent the last two weeks listening to these i'd say about 45 ish hours so what do i think let's see my top three favorite things i like the most the battery life how you control the volume and the single earbud use my biggest dislikes the mics the way they sit in the case and number three let me see the mics literally the mics could have been all three but for real let's start with the case the case is plastic shiny white it's not my favorite but it's definitely not the worst the lid is really secure so you don't have to worry about it randomly popping open the weight is kind of decent, which I actually like, but because the case is so wide, it's kind of awkward to hold, but it's still pocket friendly. Now you have your battery indicator so you know how much charge you have left. It has type C charging, which is awesome. Unfortunately, no wireless charging, but remember, $50, so not the most disappointed. Now when it comes to my dislikes, when you open the lid, let me know if it's just me, but I feel like these are backwards, so when you take them out, you're going to have to flip them. You can't just put them right in. You're going to have to flip them and then put them in. To me, that feels like a design flaw. Maybe it's just me being petty. You let me know. Now, the actual buds are extremely lightweight and just overall tiny. I do go back and forth on if I actually like this design, but I think it's growing on me. Overall, they have a low profile look to them, but because they're so unique, that can make them stand out more if that makes sense. Now, when it comes to comfort, I can only speak about my ears. Once again, for my ears, oops, dropped it. <laughs> for my ears, these are really comfortable. I can wear these for about two hours without any ear fatigue. I mostly only had to adjust them when exercising. These are IPX waterproof, so you don't have to worry about them sweat about sweating. Not them sweating, but you sweat. You know what I mean. Now, these don't have A and C or anything like that, but the passive noise cancellation is decent from the tips. You get three sizes, so make sure you try them all out. People, a proper seal is so important. Now, these do have Bluetooth 5.0, so the connection is really strong. At home and outdoors, I had no issues at all. But at work in an office slash warehouse environment, I did notice a little interference here and there, but nothing deal breaking. Now, I don't recommend these for gaming or anything outside of casual gaming, even though they do have a gaming mode. But when it comes to Netflix, YouTube, Crunchyroll, I noticed no lag at all. Battery life has been amazing. So when I first got these, I gave them a full charge. And I didn't have to charge them again for about another eight days. I used a mix of both buds and single earbud use. The battery on here is fantastic. Now, before I get to the second best thing about these earbuds, let me just cover the worst. The mics on here. Let me just put it like this. Don't do it. Don't take a call. Don't talk on these. These are not for talking. Hey yo, what up people, it's VDust Tech, and this is a quick mic test for the Inca Fire E90s. How do they sound? Got traffic in the background, just walking. It's not all that loud, but it's not the quietest either. So once again, this is a quick mic test for the Inca Fire E90s. Do they sound good? Or do they sound bad? Moving on. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. When it comes down to the audio on these, these are legit. They pack a punch. The bass is so nice with these. Now, if you love your vocals and like hearing instrument separation and all that, these aren't terrible, but the deep bass that these have can get a little muddy at times. But since I mostly listen to like hip hop, rap, R&B, hey, that's what I like. Volume wise, these don't get the loudest. I would like two, maybe three more clicks. But honestly, I never go higher than 70%. And now the touch controls. The touch controls are A1. Never had an issue with them not responding. Wasn't any type of learning curve. Some of the best controls I've used. You have your play, your pause, your forward, your back, your assistant mode, and your gaming mode. Full control on some $50 earbuds. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with these. 
I do wish they had maybe an app or possibly wireless charging, but once again, $50, not the most upset. If you're interested, check the link in the description. If you made it this far, consider doing those YouTube things. It's VDUS Tech. I'll catch you on the next one. Later. One more thing, don't use these for talking. <laughs> I'm out.